to you guys with a drill with me and hopefully I'm going to be able to start to do these very frequent at least frequently enough so that I can get a following and we can all just have a little bit of fun while we create our artistic designs just a little bit about me I know I had an introductory video in my introductory video I did show everyone my craft station and it's something that was important to me um, because I wanted an area of comfort while I sat and spent hours doing something that was a passion of mine it was fun to put together it was fun to shop um, I used to sit on my couch and um, I was starting to wear a hole in the couch so I was uh, uh, trying to get new furniture and I did not want to wear out my new furniture like my old sofa you could definitely tell where I used to sit all the time and so I wanted to create a station where if I needed to replace my chair it's just a matter of replacing my chair but I still had a ton of comfort as you can see, I'm still not done because I definitely probably need to invest in um, an LD, LED bright lamp so I can shine it on. Obviously, you know, I do have a light pad and it works. It helps light up. But, you know, it, I think for me, because I'm getting older and my eyes are worn, it probably would be a good idea <laughs> to, to go ahead and invest in an additional light source um, from above. Um, but from there, I also decided to, you know, kind of talk a little bit more about me in this opening drill. So a little bit about me. Um, one of the biggest reasons why I decided to, um, to start doing my own videos is I was watching one of my YouTubers, favorite YouTubers, and she had... She wasn't, it wasn't about, and I believe it was um, Donnie, and she was doing an unboxing, and she had kind of got off in the unboxing into talking about how, how expensive it was for her initially to diamond paint. I hate this wax over here. It's just not working for me. I'm having to... I don't know what's going on, but I'm having to read it up too much. Anyway, back in, she was talking about how expensive it was for her to get her canvases and how she wasn't always able to buy her canvases the way she she is now. And she talked about how, you know, she was a single mom with two daughters and how times were really hard and money was very tight. And... As she spoke on, on how difficult it was and how much she had went through and how much she had struggled, it really brought back memories of me raising my two kids. And it really spoke to me and my heart was really going out to her. Um, obviously, she went on to talk more about the canvas that she had purchased and, you know, how excited she gets when she receives them, you know, how she's, you know, in her second leg, she has a daughter, um, a younger daughter now, and uh, it's just that her message, it just, it spoke to me so much, and the reason why I wanted to start to do videos for my own, because I've been diamond painting for a couple of months now, but it, it is exactly why, like how she spoke to me, and how you know, sometimes I feel guilty about the passion. Not It, it doesn't last long. I move on <laughs> because I have put myself in a position where I can now, you know, paint uh, or do activities um, that I, could, I couldn't do when my children were younger. Um, is this something that I feel like I could have gotten into then? Yeah. And I also feel like it would have been a great... It, it just would have been a great release from some of the things that I was going through when my kids were younger. Um, so her video, it touched me. It touched me a lot. Uh, it brought back memories. I'm not going to lie. It did tear up. Um, shed a couple of tears while I was watching the video. It really did speak to me. 
and hence I am here. I've been diamond painting, I've been grabbing my article, my, my items, <laughs> my kit and things, and whenever one of my YouTubers are on and they're going live, I try and go live, you know, sit with them and, and diamond paint right beside them. Um, but one of the things that I want to do a little bit different, you know, is maybe create just a forum where me and everyone can kind of get together and kind of like cross assist one another, you know, just be an ear for one another, a communicate, a communication community where we can provide resources and suggestions in a way that might be helpful. Um, that would be ideal. Some of the other things that I'm hoping that comes from it is I'm on a personal journey, uh, a path for uh, change, uh, changing myself, um, changing my life. Uh, a few years ago, I was in a very bad accident. Um, it wasn't a car accident. It was actually an incident where I had fell down um, uh, like a ditch um, cavern and my father had passed away and I had went back home to visit um, my aunt and to help get my father's house my father was handicapped and he had moved into a new home in the previous five years and it wasn't the home that I had grew up in so I was not familiar with the topography the land and things around it so I went back home to visit to help my aunt get his house together to get it ready uh, to sell or to decide if my aunt or someone was going to move into the home and I was out surveying and walking and I simply fell down into a ditch I broke both uh, legs I shattered some bones in my left foot it was a long lengthy recovery process and in that time I had gained more weight than I ever had. I've always been between a 12 and a 14. But I found myself at the heaviest I've ever been. I'm at between a 22 and a 24. Um, I'm mobile. I'm able to walk now. I have no assist. I'm not on a cane anymore. I'm not in a wheelchair or anything. Um, I do have a lot of pain. And I think since the incident and since some of my healing, you know, um, Definitely arthritis and some things have set in. Um, obviously, I had some scar tissue and things like that. Um, so now I'm on a personal journey. Obviously, I want to get back to within a healthier weight. And for me, you know, that's going to require a big change in my lifestyle. Not only, you know, how I eat, what I eat, when I eat, you know, my mobility, things of that nature. But, you know, I'm not... I'm not someone who really takes well to too many restrictions. Um, and so that's hopefully some things that I can look to our community to do is to kind of help with whatever journeys it been on and, you know, what you did to kind of get yourself through. Um, it's going to be a lengthy journey, and I understand that. And I also know it's going to be something that I'll be doing probably for the rest of my life. But I am committed. Um, and hopefully on this journey, I'll have a lot of fun with any friends of mine, any subscribers. On top of having a lot of fun, you know, maybe we'll get to trade some exciting recipes. And who knows? <laughs> maybe we'll, you know, from time to time, get to do a meetup to where we can all just have a little bit more fun in person. I would like to see... <laughs> Uh, auditorium full of everyone diamond painting and if you run out of drills and everyone in the auditorium is uh, diamond painting uh, someone should have some extras for you to borrow and we don't have to worry at that point about shipping and receiving and uh, wait times <laughs> so um, hopefully this is something that we'll all be able to do together and I welcome anyone into the community to subscribe to come along for the journey to exchange um, recipes, ideas, topics. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. So with that said, this is my first video. Please tune into my next video 
and you'll definitely definitely uh, get to know a little bit more about me but I did want to set sort of a preamble as to why I wanted to get into this what I was dealing with and why I'm so eager now to just you know do a little bit more have a little more change in my life and change doesn't necessarily have to mean you know dieting and changing the way you look on the outside for me changing simply means that we're creating and having a new gratifying experience that's what change can mean for all of us just creating and having a new gratifying experience and whatever that means to you if it means rock climbing if it means mountain climbing camping fishing ideally those are all things that I want to do <laughs> um, just so you know but uh, whatever that change means to you just so happens to me I need to go on a diet right now I need a little, little weight but like I said I hope that you're all you know coming along for the journey it'll be a lot of fun I'll be diamond painting I'll be talking about my experiences um, lots of experiences <laughs> as far as me being clumsy long time ago <laughs> it'll it'll probably be entertaining because a long time ago I used to try to do comedy so I'm sure you'll get a kick out of all my goofas other than that I really do welcome everyone to subscribe to hit that notification bell and to come along for the diamond painting experience because that's a new gratifying experience for me at the moment okay I wish you all the best and you guys have a great rest of your day. <laughs>